Hi folks, thanks for stopping by and taking a second to check this out. Um, today I thought we would talk about these wireless dongle units. <laughs> I've used uh, several of these and I thought I could give you my experience with these if you happen to be in the market for them. These are really cool. Back in the 80s, um, we used to use these and they had, you know, they actually worked better. There wasn't as much interference in the air, but they had true diversity and stuff. You had a battery pack and the whole thing. But these are kind of cool. They, they just plug in. How much simpler does this get, right? Um, I've had several of these, and I'll tell you what ones I started with and why I've moved on to what I have now. So the first one I got uh, was a Locato brand that was just off of Amazon. I think they were $50 or $60. They were 5.8 gigahertz, um, which I thought, okay, that'll be great. The bass player in my band uses them for his bass. Doesn't seem to have any problems. Um, I got them and they just introduced so much noise on any kind of a gain setting that they were unusable for me. They just was like, Psh! Um, as soon as you'd kick on a gain channel or anything like that. It was just too noisy. So I gave them to him and moved on. And I moved on to the X Vive uh, U2s, which are these guys. Um, and these work pretty good. These are 2.4 gigahertz and they come with a little charger like this that has the two plugs on one end and then one USB on the other one and they charge up. I've never had any issue with them lasting uh, long enough for a gig, like a three hour gig or three and a half hour gig without any problems. And these work pretty good for a while <clears throat> um, until places started having tons of Wi-Fi stuff. So for example, we play one restaurant and they have pretty close to where the band is, it's not a big place anyway, they have a really powerful Wi-Fi booster um, and it just makes these cut out and they become unusable at 2.4 uh, gigahertz. In my little studio here I have a Wi-Fi booster as well and up until I put that down here <laughs> these worked fine down here but now that gets interfered with every now and then. They're, they're still usable but they'll cut out here and there you'll hear a click or a pop or something. Changing channels doesn't matter. This, I think, has four selectable channels you can use on these. Um, but they become, if you're in a place that has a lot of Wi-Fi with a bunch of big screen TVs and music playing and um, all that stuff, as some of the restaurants and sports bars and stuff do now, um, these are unusable. So I've gone back to a cable. But in a, a lot of the places, if you're playing a normal club or something like that, these work just fine. And my main desire for these, not is that I run around or anything, it is being nice to be able to go out front and kind of hear what the band sounds like. Um, but I wanted it just so I don't get electrocuted. We play some sketchy places, you know, pool parties or outside things where the ground may or may not be wet. <laughs> so I just didn't want to get shocked. So that these kind of prevent that from happening a little better than a cable does. So I used these for a while, and then these weren't working really great in the house, um, and they weren't working great at the club that we play all the time. So I thought I would try another one. So the ones I got here, these are the Nux ones, or New X, however you want to pronounce that. Um, these are the C5RCs. Um, I guess that's what they are. Yeah. And uh, these were great. So these are 5.8 gigahertz as well. These I can use down here in my basement without a problem around the Wi-Fi router I have. I've used them in some other clubs and they work just fine um, without any issues at all. And they sound good and these are the best as far as no noise. The, the X5 has a little bit of noise nowhere near the Lakeda ones, but these are dead quiet. These things work really great as far as introducing any kind of noise or anything. They work awesome. And the one place that the restaurant I said that has all the TVs and streams music and stuff, um, these still don't work in there. <laughs> they got cut out from there, but that's okay. That's the first place I, I've had any issue with um, these at all was that place. And, I, and I'm just convinced it's they have a very powerful Wi-Fi router that's r pretty close proximity to where the stage is because the place is small. Um, and they're doing a lot of streaming. Uh, TVs, there's TVs all over the place and, and that kind of thing. So I just go back to a cable for that, no big deal. Like I said, my main point for getting these was to play in places that are a little sketchy with electric, um, just to keep it a little safer for me. Um, but it is nice having that freedom once you kind of get used to it. So these work really great, the charge holds well. Uses that same little adapter to charge the units themselves. Um, they've held 
no problems on three, three and a half hour gigs. The other thing that's really nice about these things is they come with this case. There's also a charger. <laughs> so you just put, the, uh, you put the, the plugs in here and then flick the switch on the side and it will, um, you see that? <laughs> kind of a twisted thing. You just hit the little button on the side and it automatically starts to charge them. So you do have to charge this separately um, so that this battery pack is charged. Uh, again, with just a little USB thing. Is that focusing? Um, and then you just plug these in and these will charge it several times without any issues whatsoever. You just plug these in and then hit the button and you're good to go. So if you forgot to charge them for a gig and you were heading out the door, no worries. You just plug them in <laughs> on your way out. Uh, the thing is you're getting to the gig and they'll be charged when you get there. They charge pretty quickly um, and they work out pretty good. So those are the three that I've used on a bunch of gigs um, and have some real world experience with. If you were looking to get um, some of these wireless things, I would stay away from the 2.4 gigahertz anything. I would make sure that you get 5.8 and I think with these things you kind of get what you pay for. So I'd maybe stay away from some of the low budget ones that are dirt cheap on Amazon. Although, like I said, my bass player uses those and has no issue with those whatsoever. He loves them, um, but they didn't work for me. So your mileage may vary. Uh, you can make a decision on that. But these have worked really great for me. Um, and like I said, I would probably hold out and try and get 5.8 just because it's not. there's not going to be less radio interference <laughs> going forward. There's only going to be more. So the 2.4 probably has a shelf life. Um, just based on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to use them around your house, you won't have any issue, but if you're going to go out playing, probably the 5.8 gigahertz is probably the way to go. So hopefully this was helpful if you're thinking about getting any of these or were just curious about them. If you have any of these ones I model or, or showed you and you want to uh, share your experience, please add it in the comments below. And then if someone's checking this out and trying to make a decision on what they want, your input will be heard as well. So thank you so much for checking this out. And have a great day.